Hi friends, as always I'm super excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. Functionalism regards the functions performed by the subsections of the society as vital for order and continuity in society. Let's find out functionalism and media in today's video. Dennis McQuill has identified five major social functions of the media. Information, continuity, correlation, entertainment and mobilization. Functionalism has its roots in 19th century social thought. It originated from the application of methods from biology to the society. Society is conceived as an organism. Its development is seen as an evolutionary process. There is greater stress on the functions to be fulfilled by the parts for the working of the whole. The parts are families, enterprises, governmental bodies and churches etc. Functionalist theory explains social practices and institutions in terms of the needs of the society and of individuals. Society is viewed as an ongoing system of linked working parts or subsystems each making an essential contribution to continuity and order. In 19th century, Auguste Comte first conceived of society as a whole, which is kept in perfect harmony by the balanced contribution of its constituent parts to its working in the process of fulfilling their specific functions. The social system exists independently and consists of subsystems that influence each other. The system has certain basic needs, in the absence of which it will break down. For the equilibrium of the system, the needs of the subsystems must be met. The subsystems can be functional when they contribute to stability or dysfunctional when they contribute to decreasing stability or irrelevant with regard to the stability of the system as a whole. A specific need of the system can be satisfied in different ways through functional equivalents. Robert Merton distinguished between the manifest functions which are intended and recognized by participants in the system and latent functions which are neither intended nor recognized. It refers to the unintended consequences of various kinds of behavior. In functionalism, emphasis is on consequences and not causes. The important question is which functions have to be fulfilled through particular social actions to guarantee the maintenance of the system. The results of actions are interpreted in terms of their contribution to stability of the system. Every social system, according to Talcott Parsons, must resolve four basic issues. Adaptive functions, which are the means. Goal attainment functions, which are the values of the society. Integrative functions, the norms. And latent tension management functions. According to Parsons, 
social systems can differentiate themselves in response to demands regarding the fulfillment of the four basic functions that we spoke about. The economy, for example, performs adaptive functions and the law takes care of normative directions. Social life requires a more or less accurate, consistent, supportive and complete picture of the working of the society and of the social environment. It is by responding to these demands that the media achieves unintended benefits for the society as a whole. The main functions of communication according to Harold Laswell in 1948 were surveillance of the environment, correlation of the parts of the society in responding to its environment and transmission of the cultural heritage. W. R. Wright in 1960 added entertainment as a fourth key media function. To W. R. Wright the formulation of the classic functionalist question is what are the manifest and latent functions and dysfunctions of mass communicated surveillance correlation which is editorial activity cultural transmission entertainment for the society subgroups individual and cultural systems the information function provided by mass communication is as follows firstly providing information about events and conditions in society and the world secondly indicating relations of power thirdly facilitating innovation adaptation and progress correlation function which is about explaining interpreting and commenting on the meaning of events and information. Secondly, correlation is about providing support for established authority and norms. It also helps in socializing. Another important social function is that of consensus building and setting orders of priority and signaling relative status. Another important social function of mass communication is continuity. It can be in two ways expressing the dominant culture and recognizing subcultures and new cultural developments and also forging and maintaining commonality of values. Mass communication also performs important entertainment functions. This serves in providing amusement, diversion and the means of relaxation. Another important social function performed is that of reducing social tension. Mass communication provides a vital social function of mobilization. For example, campaigning for societal objectives in the sphere of politics, war, economic development, work and sometimes religion. In summary, media are an institution of society. They perform the tasks of order, control and cohesion. They are also necessary for adaptation and change. Functions are recognizable in the effects of the media. There is also management of tension by the mass media. There are also unintended harmful effects, dysfunctions. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I will be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.